Canada is now seeking to take center stage in Western efforts to send more weapons to Ukraine, as Ottawa's foreign affairs minister says her country is bringing in the private sector to help arm Kiev's forces. But the top diplomat's speech at a recent conference was interrupted by a political activist and writer who accused her of provoking a global conflict. Um, and then also... Stop escalating the war. Go to NATO. Shame on you. You're going to push us to third World War III. Shame on you. Go to war. Stop getting weapons. We spoke with that activist, Eve Engler, who says the West is trying to turn Ukraine into an Afghanistan-like quagmire. Why hasn't the Canadian government, uh, which provides all kinds of support to the government in Kyiv, why haven't we been pushing them to uh, incorporate the, uh, to their obligations under the Minsk, Minsk Accords uh, and, uh, and basically talk about how Canada has uh, helped precipitate uh, this conflict from its role in, uh, in the Maidan uh, 2014. The decision makers in Ottawa and Washington uh, very much view Ukraine as a proxy against uh, Russia. Uh, they think that the the things aren't going well for the Russian military, which is probably correct. And they would like to see something equivalent to what happened in Afghanistan during the 1980s. And what that would mean effectively is Canada, the U.S. and others pumping in endless amounts of weapons until the last Ukrainian uh, was willing to was willing to fight and, and die. Minister Jolie uh, yesterday uh, uh, said that uh, we need uh, we need to have ensure there's even more weapons into the Ukraine. We're going to go find uh, weapons from other other sources. Um, they, they have completely committed to uh, just fueling the conflict. 